All right, welcome to part two of our uh, whack-a-mole game. In part one, we set up all of our components. Part two, we're going to set up the blocks. So let's go to the blocks. I've already opened my emulator, so I have it ready as I'm building my app. I would go ahead and do that at this point. And what we're going to start off with is creating a variable. So we'll go to variables, initial global. We're going to change the name to holes. And we're going to set up a dummy value for this variable. It's going to be under list. We're going to create an empty list. And then what we're going to do is under screen one, we're going to get the screen one initialize block. So that means when the screen one is started, we want this to occur. So we're going to do add items to the list. And our list is the, the dummy one that we just made. So we're going to do the get global holes. And then we're going to add in the items, which will be our holes. So when the screen one starts, it's going to add in the holes that we've put in here. And the reason we're doing that is so that later on we're going to have our mole move to those holes. So you want to click on this little blue square and under the list block you're going to have five item blocks. So you just left click and you drag it underneath and connect them. And that will give you five sockets. And those five sockets will be filled by the hole block. So you go to hole one, start there, go down to the very bottom and you'll drag the hole one block. In the next socket it'll be the hole two. And actually I'm going to try something. We'll duplicate. You should be able to with the drop down just select it. So right click, duplicate, use the drop down, right click, duplicate. It's much faster. Okay. So we have each of the items added to the list. Next thing we need to do is make our procedure. So we're going to go to procedures. We'll get the top one that says to procedure do. And our procedure is going to be our move. It's going to be called move mole. It's going to move the mole. And from there, we want to go to variables, and you want to get this initial local name to in. And we're going to put that in there. And we're going to initialize local. We're going to change the name to current hole because we want the mole to move to a specific hole. So we're going to have this procedure. It's going to pick a random item from the list. So you'll go to the list block and you'll find the block that says pick a random item from the list and we have to specify the list so our list is our global holes okay and we've done that with the screen initialize block so what we want our procedure to do is move the mole so we'll go to the mole and we want to get the block that says call move mole or move to and we want to set the X and the Y for the mole. So in order to do that, we need to go down to the Any Component list down here. And where it says Any Image Sprite, we want to get the value Image Sprite X of Component, and then Image Sprite Y. image sprite y of component. So whatever the hole is, we know all of our holes are image sprites, whichever one is picked from the list, that's the one that it's going to move to. And then we need to get uh, the get current hole block. So you hover your mouse on current hole, get current hole, you're going to duplicate that block and fill in this socket on the y. Okay, so we have the procedure, but we have to call it to happen. So you're going to go up at the very top under procedures, and you want to get the call move mole procedure. And we're going to have it occur when the screen initializes. So we're going to add it under the screen one initialize block. So when the screen starts, it'll add the items to the list, and it'll call the procedure to occur. And what should be happening if I refresh is the mole will be moving here. 
Um, and it won't happen yet because we need to add in the mole clock. Okay, so when the mole clock, when the mole timer goes off, and in our designer we have our clock here, we have our timer interval set to 1000 milliseconds, which equals one second. So every second the mole will move when we call the procedure to happen. Okay, so when the timer goes off, it makes the procedure occur. Hit dismiss there. And what I'm going to do now here we go I'm going to add in the uh, when the mole is touched here Boom. okay so um, basically I was getting that error message so I reset the emulator didn't have you guys wait through that uh, and as you can see the mole is now moving every second uh, so what we're going to do, that'll be it for part two. Part three, what we're going to be doing is adding in when the mole's touched. We'll add a value to the score or to the hits. And then when it's missed, we'll add a value to that. Okay. So if you are finished, you are welcome to go along to part three.